Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung 9100 Pro. Now this is Samsung's first, I'm going to say, enthusiast PCI Express 5 drive. It's not their first PCI Express 5 drive technically though, because the 990 Evo was PCIe 5 but it was a very laptop orientated kind of drive because it stopped at around uh, five gig a second. The uh, 9100 Pro though will do 4.8, 14.8 uh, gig a second or 14,800 um, uh, reads and 13,400 writes. Now the drive does come with Samsung's eighth generation uh, NAND and a new Presto controller. Now, the controllers are pretty much the point on the NVMEs or the drives that tend to get hot. And uh, it's always a concern. Now, this, the Samsung is available with a heatsink and it is all PCIe SIG compatible and all of that sort of stuff. But still, you do need uh, with a lot of the drives out there, fairly weighty heat sinks. And the heat sink that, if you do get the heat sink model, I didn't, um, and there's a good reason for that, which I'll explain in a minute. It's not that big, to, because it's designed to still be able to fit in your Xbox or your laptop, so to speak. But with modern, modern motherboards, they've all got fairly fancy heat sinks built into the board now, like the Godlike that I'm using here today. And that was one of the things that I did say about the uh, Sabrent drive specifically recently that used the Fizon E26 controller. And I have reviewed the two terabyte and the four terabyte models over on the website, was that that did not get hot with normal motherboard heat sinks. You didn't need fans blowing on them. Corsair had uh, um, one of their 700 drives was PCI Express 5 with a fan on the side of it that was needed to keep the drive cool and it just felt like we'd stepped back in time a little bit because if you did really use the drive or punish the drive or you know extended excessive use they very much had the possibility of getting incredibly hot and before we step into performance I am going to talk about the uh, Samsung thermals because it was not difficult for me to get this above 80 degrees. So with the, with the graph up, you can see it's at the top of the graph, but with the, this drive, it does actually have um, the actual body thermal sensor, which is the one that I've used, but then it had uh, a one and a two thermal sensor as well. My first thermal sensor on that actually was excessively higher to the point where if I just did uh, sequential runs in Crystal Dismark, by the end of the third, the start of the fourth runs, I was well in excess of 90 degrees. And it only took one more run to get it to 97. When I tested the Sabrent, I'd been there for maybe 20 minutes, just constantly running um, the sequential, and it didn't hit 70 degrees. So we do still have thermal issues with the uh, Samsung. I do want to say though, you will see there was another highlighted result and I, um, I basically just ran some games, did some normal stuff, installed stuff onto the drive and ran it from the drive like you would normal. I also installed F1 2022 and there's the ability to loop that. So I installed that onto the drive, literally looped it, went off out to the garden, had like, just left it running and it didn't get ridiculously hot. But with intensive high-end read and writes, which you would get if you're gonna buy a drive that can do uh, four, nearly 15,000 megabits a second and nearly 13 and a half thousand um, writes, um, you want to be able to use it comfortably without worrying about the fact it was gonna get hot. Now the heatsink on the Godlike isn't the a big, flashy massive heatsink but then not very many of them are this also comes into the point where it is right above the um graphics card as well but so was the Sabrent. so they were tested fairly and i just wanted to make sure that i did critically point that out 
Now, performance wise, it was on point. Like it is pretty much at the limits of what PCI Express 5 can bring us. And the one thing that I will say is um, even after absolutely battering it, um, the the performance didn't really drop off. There was no thermal you know, drop off. It hadn't started throttling or anything like that, despite the fact it was nearly at 100 degrees. Now, you're also now going to say to me, wow, Tom, that heat sink on that board isn't that big. And it's not. So I did try an aftermarket heat sink on it, which was about twice the size of what Samsung would have given you in the box if you bought one with a heat sink. And we lost five degrees off of it. So it was still above 90 degrees on that. Um, uh, on that thermal sensor one. So it was still incredibly hot. That was with the side on, ample airflow in the case. Um, so there are ways around it, but I do feel like this is still one of those drives that does need a healthy heat sink on it. I do feel like maybe Samsung may be able to do some extra work on the controller to bring the temps down even maybe, um, because compared to the competition being the direct PCI Express 5 performance controller out there, which is the Fizon E26, I'm going to go as far as to say I think that, you know, this is a tad bit toasty. Yes, you're not going to have it uh, running at 90 degrees all the time, but the fact it can do when pushed and the competition doesn't when pushed, and there is a good let's face facts, it's a 20 degree difference. And for a drive so small, I don't think uh, that's something we can just shrug off. Overall though, performance is great. It's uh, got some huge um, TBW numbers as well. It's gonna be very strong and because it carries the Samsung logo, a lot of people are gonna go to it anyway. If you do, like I've said, you're just gonna to have to think about cooling that little bit more. Um, there are several motherboards out there now have more than one PCI Express 5 slot on the motherboard, so you might be able to hide a bigger heatsink. Uh, you might um, have a board which just natively has a better heatsink, but just can keep in mind that also your uh, graphics card is gonna be directly below it. But that is my review. Performance award, nevertheless, because it does perform. It just gets a little bit toasty with it. And uh, I was quite surprised. That was the one thing I thought was a bit of a negative point. But for now, at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Out. Ding!